Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are going to learn how to solve rational inequalities algebraically. So I've got for you your kind of the steps to follow. So the first thing you want to do is find your limited domain. Okay, what you need to do is look at your rational expression and look at the denominator right here. And we know that a denominator cannot equal zero. So let's set the denominator equal to zero and solve. So if we solve for x, x is negative five. Okay, well that becomes our limited, limited domain. x cannot be negative five because that forces a zero in the denominator. So that's our first step. It's just finding our limited domain. The next thing we want to do is solve what's called the related equation. So we're going to take this inequality and we're going to change it to an equal sign and treat it as if it's an equation versus an inequality. And this one's pretty easy because we can just set it up as a proportion. So once it's set up as a proportion, we can just cross multiply and solve. So I'm going to take four times X plus five and I'm going to set it equal to eight times one, which is just eight. And then I'm going to solve this related equation. So I get 4x plus 20 is equal to 8. So 4x is equal to 12. And x would then be equal to 3. Okay, so we have our answer or a solution to a related equation. So we've done step 2. Okay, now what we're going to do is place these values, these critical values, that's what they, these two answers are called. So the negative five, which is the limited domain and the solution are both what we consider critical values. And we're going to place them on a number line. So negative five is on the left because it's smaller than positive three. So let's place those on the number line. Now, we know that X can't be negative five. So when I'm doing inequalities, that means I'm not going to include negative five. So I write that as an open circle. Now, I have to look at my actual inequality. So let me go up here and look at this. Okay, the inequality says less than or equal to. So that means we are going to include our solution. So I'm going to include the negative three. So just a real quick recap. If you have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you're going to include your solution. If you have a less than, or greater than, you do not include your solution, so you have an open circle on your number line. Okay, so now at this point, I can test my intervals. So I've placed our numbers on the number line. Now we're gonna test each interval. Okay, to test the intervals, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have find values in each of these three regions, to the left of negative five, between negative five and three, and to the right of positive three. So let's pick a number over here to the left. So I'm just going to pick negative 6. You could pick negative 10 or negative 100. Just any value to the left of negative 1, which is, or left of negative 5, which is smaller than negative 5. I'm going to plug in negative 6, so I'm going to test that point. 8 over, and I'm going to plug in negative 6 right here in here into the equation. So negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. I'm going to see if that is less than or equal to 4. So I'm just plugging in the function. I'm plugging into the function negative 6. So this becomes negative 8 is less than or equal to 4. Well, is that statement true? Is negative 8 less than 4? And the answer is yes. So that means this section works. So that means this, I'm going to shade my inequality to the left. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug a value in that falls between negative 5 and positive 3. Well, the easiest one to plug in there is just 0. So let's plug a 0 in for x. So 0 plus 5 in the denominator. That becomes 8 fifths. Is 8 fifths less than or equal to 4? And the answer to that is yes, it is. That also, this region also works. It's less than or equal to 4. And now I'm going to try something to the right. I'm going to try a value here. So let's try 
I don't know, let's pick positive 4. So now I'm going to pick a 4, plug a 4 in here. So let's plug in 4. So this one is going to be 8 over 9. So 8 ninths. Is that less than or equal to 4? And the answer is yes, it is. So this region also works. So what we've got is a shaded region right here between negative 5 and positive 3. And then we have from 3 off to the right to infinity. So now let's look at what we've got. Well, that is actually every value on the x-axis except negative 5. So when I write this, I'm actually going to write my answer in interval notation. So that's going to be from negative infinity up to negative 5. But I'm not going to include negative 5, so in interval notation, I just use parentheses. Then I'm going to join or make that the union with this region from negative 5 to infinity. So that's going to be negative 5 and everything greater than negative 5. And boom, there's my solution. And that's how you solve your um, rational inequality algebraically. Hope this video was helpful.